doing it. So since I have no plans to do that now, I don't see any reason to go to Bay City. Where's Bay City? Uh, it's south of here, south uh, east. I'm not sure what, I and mean, you probably don't know anything around there. Uh, I'm trying to think of what the thing on the Wisconsin side was, or on the Minnesota side. Yeah, I can't remember. I don't remember. I'm not gonna forget about my uh, my bag this <laughs> time. Yesterday I forgot about my bag. No, no, no. I mean, I mean, I leave the bag on the bike. That's not. Right. But I had I had more sports drink in it, and I totally forgot about it until we got back. <laughs> Cause like usually I guess I'm like, okay, I need to get back for this or that. Yeah. And so like I plan out the routes, but like yesterday I didn't have anything. So to get back for really. So it was kind of like, I don't know. I didn't do as good a job of preparing as I should have. Of course today I didn't put on sunscreen and I should have done that. So. Luckily the, you know, we're still in the spring, so the sun's not directly overhead. But my nose got kind of burnt yesterday. So, it would have, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, like my dad never got burnt, but he ended up having skin cancer because he never put on sunscreen, so. Did he have like a skin cancer on his face? No, I got it on his legs. Because he, he would like lay out at the pool. Almost to the top. <laughs> But yeah, so the thing about the North Star is it doesn't go all the way to St. Cloud. I don't know if the buses to St. Cloud run. During the week, you can commute from St. Cloud. But I don't know if you can do that on the weekend. Well, I don't know if Google Maps will tell you. You'll probably just have to go to the North Star website. It might tell you, but I don't know how like how good it is outside of the metro for like the public transit. What you guys should print up some like water bottles at Cities IT, and it could be like brought to you by Cities IT. Yeah. This is uh, unofficially brought to you by the Minneapolis City Soccer Club. They don't they don't have any money to sponsor me. There is a Twitter hashtag though, Cycle Crows. That I'm pretty much the only one that uses it, but <laughs> it's for uh, Minneapolis City fans that uh cycle so there's one guy uh, I haven't ridden with him but we talk about riding <laughs> I don't really know him but just just from Twitter <laughs> but 
but uh, yeah. When is the game? It's the 27th. April? Yeah. Two weeks from yesterday. It's a members only game. So. I think. Yeah, but I have two membership cards, so. They're not literally going to look at the membership roster and say, oh, you're not a member. I honestly don't know who they're playing. It might be on the, uh, on that calendar invite. Did you get that calendar invite I sent you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember what it. It may just say Mi Minneapolis City game in Eden Prairie, but I know they have a relationship with this team um, in Nebraska called the Bug Eaters. Um, but I don't think it's them. I think that game is later. I think that's in like late July, early August. I don't know if it's like a full field that they have there inside. It's indoor facility. I'm almost certain, I'm pretty sure. I'm kind of uh, personally not like super into like going to preseason games and stuff, but um, I think it's probably good for the team to have like some practice games in front of supporters and stuff so like i know there's going to be a lot of people that like me that are like it's preseason who cares so i want to like yeah. get past that and go and so uh Yeah, we probably went down a, I mean, we're only going 15 today, so, uh, yeah, yeah, and I, like, charged it, unlike yesterday, so, like, it was on, uh, unusually short lifespan yesterday on the battery, so, but it worked out, I mean, like, no, nah, it wasn't. It was like it was on three instead of five when I once I noticed it. I was like, shit, I'll charge it. I'll go up and charge it for like 20 minutes until Nick gets here. But yeah, it was on three <laughs> when I started doing it. So it lasted like exactly. Yeah, I think it's a lot more accurate now once they did the uh, firmware upgrade on it. Because as you well know, it would just like, at the end, it would just like drop. <laughs> and, uh, I think it still does it a little bit, but not nearly as badly. And I think some of that too is because like, it'll jump even when it's not at the end. You know, like you just said, it went from 70 to 54. But I think like people notice it more when it's getting low because they're watching it more. <laughs> uh, I think I think that's what was going on is that it's just more accurate now in general. But yeah, yeah, it's gonna jump around based on uh, going up and down the hills. The Danish American Center. 
It was funny when I was in Iceland, they talked a lot about how they hated the Danes. <laughs> the Danes, because the, the Danish were, uh, they were like, quote unquote, occupying Iceland for a long time. So. But it's kind of like the US and England. They're like, we like to hate England, but at the same time, they're like one of our like, big trade partners yeah. and so like Iceland still has like a you know like a strong trade rela relationship with Denmark but yeah. they like to hate them nonetheless in a nice Scandinavian way of course right. of course the Icelandic people are like really like uh, intense <laughs> like because uh, you know it's like I mean, these days it's nice, but like traditionally, like just like really intense weather and like, you know, don't, you know, like here it's, it's intense, but it's like we have like, it's warmer in the summer, you know, like we can actually grow things in the summer and stuff, but like there it like never gets warm, you know? Yeah, it's like not. It's, it's warmer in the winter, or at least like um, Reykjavik is, um, you know, because it's on the coast. It's warmer in the winter there than it is here, but like, it's just like the summer's there. Just, you know, like I went in August, like mid-August, and like we were wearing like jackets the whole time. Um, so, I mean, uh, it's pretty far up there. <laughs> um, now I don't know how much further north than Moscow it is, but it's definitely uh, quite a bit further north than Stockholm, for example. Um, and like when I was in Sweden, like, um, you know, like I wore shorts some. Um, when was I in Sweden? Uh, in 2009. Um, but, uh, yeah, um, you know, like, my family came over, like, centuries ago, <laughs> so, like, I don't, I don't really have any, like, real ties to Sweden, but, um, uh, it was nice to, like, go, and, uh, I used to, like, be a lot more into, like, you know, like, Swedish stuff, and, like, interested, like, I had a Saab, and, uh, but, like, uh, like pretty much any time that I spend that's not like work or uh, exercise yeah. is like cats now. <laughs> like I have no time for anything else. It's just cats all the time. Um, but, oh, I don't think I told you this. Uh, Marvin is on chemotherapy now. Really? Yeah, so they think that the steroid that we were giving him which has like kept his cancer under control for like four years, but yeah. but that's contributing to his weight loss. So they're gonna we're gonna get him off the steroid. How long is he gonna have to go on the steroid for? until he dies. I mean, basically, he's got he's got a mass on his face now. He can't really like he doesn't look weird, um, but you can tell that like if you feel you can feel it, the bump on his nose oh, wow. um so uh and that's one of the things too is like that's new uh whereas like before it was all like intestinal and that was pretty controlled and we have like no idea like if the steroid is going to control this new one so um but uh we'll see I think that uh, cats tend to do better on chemotherapy than humans do. Yeah, so. Um, like, I don't think they lose, because you know, like the hair and fur are like different. Yeah. Um, and so I don't think they like lose their fur or anything like that. Um, we took them to, to the U. Um, just cause like, 
we were thinking about just like like a new having him like meet up with a nutritionist but then they like did their checkups and they're like oh yeah he's got like this mass the thing is is that he had he went to the vet not that long ago but um Well, we don't really know because, you know, they just like made up a birthday when they got him at the shelter, but um, he was old when we got him. Um, not old like he is now, but I mean, he used to like run around and play and stuff, but they said he was 12, so he's like 16 and a half. He's actually passed. He's just beyond 16 and a half, I guess, based on his official birthday. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, he's, he's an old dude, so, uh, but you know, he's still got some spunk. He, uh, he still like jumps up on the couch when he's ready to take a nap and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's not like he's just laying around ready to die or anything like that. So. I mean, you know, if he didn't have any energy, then it'd be time to say goodbye, but he's got enough fight in him to, to do the chemo. But yeah, I, I kind of have this feeling that he might make it through the summer because he seems to really enjoy the summers. Um, but I don't, I don't think he's gonna make it through the fall. He always declines in the fall. Like, I don't know what it is, but he just, he always goes through this spell in October where like he just is lethargic and doesn't eat and he doesn't have enough like fat left to go through another one of those. Um, so yeah. We put him on this. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's part of it. He really does like the sun. Like you can even tell a little bit when it's just like uh, when it's just like um, a cloudy day, you know. Uh, 